Ten Wuhan professors signed an open letter demanding freedom of speech protections after a doctor who was punished for warning others about coronavirus died from it. Here's a summary of the article. Academics around China signed open letters addressing the Chinese government. Ten Wuhan professors signed one letter demanding the government enforce its own freedom of speech articles in the Constitution of the People's Republic of China, along with apologizing to and compensating eight coronavirus whistleblowers. Screenshots disseminated on Twitter by French professor Sebastien Veg, who teaches the intellectual history of 20th century China, are purported to be taken from the Chinese Internet. Article 35 states that Chinese citizens enjoy freedom of speech, of the press, of assembly, of association, of profession, and a demonstration, while Article 51 says the exercise of Chinese citizens' rights may not infringe upon the interests of the state, of society, and of the collective, or upon the lawful freedoms and rights of other citizens. The open letter also asks that the Chinese government recognize Li as a national martyr. Another letter signed by nine academics around China also asked that February 6 be made National Freedom of Speech Day in Li's honor. For 30 years the Chinese have been made to surrender their freedom in exchange for safety, and now they fall prey to a public health crisis and are less safe than ever. The open letter reads, according to an English translation by the non-profit China Change. This post received a score of 63,672, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This isn't going to end well. You want dead intellectuals? This is how you get dead intellectuals. On the other hand, things must really be fucking bad if these doctors fear this virus more than what they fear the CCP. Their actions have nothing to do with the severity of the virus. The signatories are protesting because the Chinese constitution contains articles that are meant to protect freedom of speech, with exceptions for speech to prevent subversion of state power and protect state secrets. These clauses are used fairly frequently. The letter writers are protesting the application of these clauses to the coronavirus whistleblowers. Greater than the letter writers are protesting the application of these clauses to the coronavirus whistleblowers who are continuing to blow the whistle due to the under-reporting of the alleged severity of the virus aside from the initial private discussions that were leaked. This happened before any reporting at all. Doctors in a private group DM on WeChat were discussing lab results and patients exhibiting SARS-like symptoms, not long afterward they were visited by police and censured for spreading rumors. Edited to link directly to timestamp, though the whole video is worth watching. Here are some screenshots. I can't believe an official document actually contains this kind of intimidating language with exclamation marks and literally capping it off with, do you understand? Do we have any reliable formulations of actual disease infection rates? Is that even possible to do in a country as dense as China? Hell I bet even the real numbers guys even have trouble with that right? There are a number of different estimates from numbers guys. You point out the challenge pretty well, China is abnormally dense and any calculations are unreliable because China is constantly adapting their approach to dealing with the virus. At least that's my understanding. I'm no virologist or epidemiologist, I just follow some on Twitter cheeky smiley face. Greater than because China is constantly adapting their approach to dealing with the virus. I think what you mean is because China is actively suppressing any real attempt at accurately figuring the numbers because they don't want it to damage China's reputation. This is a fun one. 13k? A lot of jokes saying these guys are good as dead. In light of that, let's acknowledge the risk these academics have taken in the interests of the community. I hope it produces change. 10 Wuhan professors found dead in their homes. Authorities speculate the coronavirus is to blame for the multiple gunshot wounds. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.